Hi. In celebration of my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday, it's my birthday. Anyway, I am launching a new uh, series of videos uh, having to deal with spirituality and art. I personally think that they're connected, so that's why I'm going to do this, and I think that celebrating my birthday is a perfect time to launch the new one. So I'll begin by just saying that we are spiritual beings having a physical experience. That's what I think. You, me, everyone, we're all spiritual beings. We're just having a physical experience in this life. Maybe there's other lives. Who knows? I don't know. I'm not going to call that one. But, you know, certainly possible, right? In spirituality, though, there are many paths to walk. I think we must make our own path. I also think we must share. Christianity is a way. Judaism is a way. Islam is a way. Zen is a way. These are religions and they are words. Words are representations of concepts and ideas. Religions and their concepts and ideas almost always overlap and share so much. They're more alike than they are different. These religions are all paths, but their identities and concepts are just words. Religions have helped me on my journey, and the leaders of these religious institutes, institutions have served me as guides. These guides cannot tell me how to walk on my journey. They can only tell me how they walk on their journey. I think these religious guides should be viewed as examples. These guides aren't the cure because their way is different from my way. My spiritual path is personal. In the universe, there is one powerful energy, and it has no name. It isn't Yahweh, or Tao, or God, because those are words. And these words are describing ideas. Discovering my personal spiritual path has been about the journey. I must learn to receive, but I cannot keep. I must relax, let go, and learn to breathe. I learned to meditate. I learned Vipassana meditation, which is the meditation method that the Buddha used to achieve enlightenment. It was one of the most challenging tasks in my life. All things and ideas come and go. We come and go. These paths are not a net with which to catch reality. Reality is like water. It's fluid. It's moving. It's always changing. I cannot hang on to reality. I cannot stand on it or walk on it. I can't hold reality or lift it up or even set it down. I can experience it. As an artist, I create representations of words and ideas and concepts. My spiritual path is the same as my creative path. They are one path. I cannot separate parts of my experience because for me, making art is representing my experience and through making art, I'm sharing my experience. In making art, I'm sharing my path. To me, the concept of sharing is all about an exchange of ideas and concepts. Sharing is about exchanging words. Sharing is about having a discussion. I don't always have to agree with anyone, and nobody has to agree with me. In sharing, 
I am not attempting to force my ideas or concepts or words on anyone else. I am presenting my ideas and concepts and words through my art. In sharing, I am also listening to the ideas, concepts, and words from others. I think about their concepts, ideas, and words. Sometimes I meditate on their ideas, concepts, and words. I invite everyone to share. A good place to do that sharing is on my Patreon page, patreon.com slash yourartdude. There are all kinds of support levels, including free. You can follow me for free on there. And there are dedicated chats where we can sit and talk about ideas and concepts and words and art, your art, my art, other people's art, art in general, news about art. So join me on Patreon and let's start talking and sharing and having more ideas. And while I'm on the thought of websites and things like that, how about on YouTube, this channel? Like, subscribe, and share. It really helps me to grow my channel. And I hope you like this new video series that I'm going to do on spirituality and art. We'll see where it goes. If you've got some ideas or thoughts, leave them in the comments, and we'll talk about it. Have a good weekend.